Hey guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be super exciting. I bet you already know that by looking at the video's title, right? Yes, I'm building a super fast, super crazy, super fun FPV racing drone. See guys, who doesn't love drones? I love drones. I actually love collecting drones, you know, from small, tiny quadcopter size to big drones, even from DJI. But I, uh, the thing is, I actually never had an FPV racing drone. I've always wanted to have an FPV racing drone because they're like so cool, you know. They're super fast, very aggressive. You can do a lot of stunts with these drones and very fun to fly. See, if you don't know what an FPV drone is, FPV stands for first person view. Uh, what happens in this sort of drones is, each of these drones have a camera on them and the pilot, whoever is flying these drones, has to wear a, you know, headset on them like VR goggles, but not VR actually. These goggles have a built-in screen and uh, whatever the drone is seeing, the live preview from that drone's camera will be transmitted into these goggles and you'll get a first-person experience kind of view. It feels as if like you're only sitting in the drone and, you know, controlling and flying that drone. That is super fun and crazy. So that is why I was so excited and wanted to build this FPV drone. And you know, I started this project. So I basically started this FPV racing drone project uh, one and a half or two months ago, guys. I was doing a bit of research in the market, like which brands are available, where can I get these components from, how to build it, what components do you need to actually build this drone and stuff like that. And finally, after gathering some information, I got most of the components required to build this FPV drone. Uh, see guys, these FPV racing drones are, are available in a lot of sizes, you know, from tiny Whoop, Nano quadcopters, Nano racing drones to this almost this big size FPV racing drones. But since this is the first time I'm actually building an FPV racing drone, I thought I'll start with this basic, you know, small size Nano quadcopter size. And in the market, you can actually, uh, you actually have a lot of brands that make these components. And also guys, there are a lot of electronics stores in India itself from where you can get these sort of components like you know educational kits there are a lot of stores especially in Hyderabad uh, you'll easily get these sort of components from there I bought all the parts and components required for building my drone from this brand known as Beta FPV Beta FPV is there in this field since quite some time guys they make a variety of FPV racing drones so I thought Chalo, I'll choose this company and build my drone from that so I, I got all these components from this brand I'll show you all of these in a moment but before that, to build this FPV drone, guys, you require a lot of components. Like first thing is you need a frame. See, decide which size, which size FPV drone you are building. And based on that, you need a frame for that. Then you need some powerful brushless motors, propellers for the motors. And what else do you need? You need a flight controller, motherboard. And also you need a camera. These cameras are available in variety of resolutions like from this particular company you get 480p cameras, 720p, full HD and even 4K cameras. But you know depending on the parts you choose the cost goes up. So building these drones can be quite expensive as well and also make sure that you have a little bit of knowledge in electronics side. You know how to solder stuff, how to connect all the wires properly. Without this basic knowledge it can be quite difficult you know if you buy all these components in, and if you don't know how to assemble or build them you might be facing a bit of trouble. So make sure you have a little bit of knowledge in this sort of stuff. If you talk about me, I have quite some experience in this field because I've done electronics and communication engineering uh, and I have done numerous projects in my college days, guys. If you actually go back to my previous old videos on my YouTube channel, maybe two or three years ago, you'll find a lot of electronic DIY projects it was really fun making all those videos long ago. But nowadays, since I'm making a lot of unboxings and reviews, I usually don't get time to build those and make DIY electronic projects. That's why I have, I have reduced all of that. But yeah, it was really fun back then. That is why using that knowledge, I'll be building my drone also. So, all right, then let me give you a quick look at all the components needed to build our first FPV racing drone. So these are all the stuff you need to build an FPV drone. The first and the most basic thing required is the body. The model of the drone I have chosen to build is called the Meteor 65 Whoop Drone. It's a 65mm sized multi-rotor that packs a punch for its size. There you go, this is how it looks like. The best part about this model is, it's quite rugged and durable. As you can see, it's got built-in propeller guards in the body and even if you crash the drone by mistake while flying, it's not going to get damaged that easily. That is one big advantage and this is the head of the body. It fixes on top of the frame like this. Don't worry about the screws, you get everything in the package. So that was about the body. 
Next, we've got the main and very essential part, the flight controller. This flight controller comes in different protocol variants like you've got DSMX, FCC, LBT, Futaba and many more. The one I have is a DSMX variant. So I'll have to get a DSMX transmitter only to pair with this DSMX receiver. As you can see, all these parts come nicely packed in these tiny boxes. Here it is, this is how the flight controller looks like. Whoa, nice! It's got the same shape as the drone's body, so fits perfectly over there. And as you can see, it's got a lot of ports on it to connect different things like camera, battery and many more. I'll show you all of that during assembling. The flight controller has an onboard 6-axis triaxial accelerometer, a gyroscope and also supports programming. Awesome, right? Now let me show you the camera. As I've said at the beginning, all these FPV drones come with a built-in camera to transmit a live preview to your FPV goggles. Let me remove the lens cap and show you. Damn, that looks nice! It's a super lightweight all-in-one module that comes with a built-in mini 5.8GHz FPV transmitter, 600 TVL wide-angle camera that can shoot videos in 640x480 resolution, and also has an RG178 antenna. You just need to solder or connect this camera module to the main flight controller which I've shown you before. Now let me show you the motors. You get a variety of motors as well. The one I am using are powerful brushless motors with ball bearings that offer awesome power and thrust. If you want to learn more about them, the models and all the specifications, I'll leave links to all of them in the description box below. And for the drone to fly, you definitely need some propellers, right? Well, here they are. We've got some beautifully crafted tri-blade propellers which go on top of the motors. I got two sets of these propellers in case if I damage any of them during flight test. Some BT 2.0 connectors and heat shrinkable sleeves. And yes, not to forget, the batteries. FPV drones can be very aggressive and power hungry, so you definitely need some reliable and high capacity batteries. Well, Beta FPV has got you covered over here as well. They offer you these high voltage lithium polymer batteries that is perfect for the job. The model I have is the LS30C battery and has a capacity of 300mAh. The batteries can offer up to 9 amps of continuous current and 15 amps at burst and have a built in 1mm banana connectors so you can easily connect them to the flight controller. For my drone, I bought 4 of these batteries so I can fly the drone for quite some time. And lastly, you need a battery charger for charging purpose. The model is Beta FPV-1S, it's a BT 2.0 battery charger come voltage tester with an LCD display. Just connect the batteries over here and plug it in any 5V 2A source for charging. So that's it guys, these were all the items I've gathered so far to build my FPV racing drone. But still, I'm short on two items. One is an RC transmitter and the second one is the FPV goggles. See, RC transmitter is nothing but that re remote control guys. It's basically a remote control using which uh, you can pair with the drone and you know, you'll be able to fly it. RC transmitters come in variety of models and protocols. You have to match the receiver and transmitter. They come in a variety of prot protocols like DSM2, DSMX and FCC, Crossfire. Uh, plug and play models, a lot of protocols to choose from. You have to choose depending on whatever you want to go with. And in the market, there are actually a lot of brands that make these transmitters. I'm, I'm looking to buy from these brands known as FR Sky, FR Fly, or maybe Spectrum. But the thing is, each of these transmitters, you know, the st price starts itself from like seven to 8,000 rupees. So they're quite expensive. So I'm doing a bit of research, which one should I choose for my drone? So yeah, once I choose a model, I'll order it and get it. And along with that, FPV goggles are also quite expensive, guys. If you go with uh, big brands like DJI, they're costing around like 65, 75,000 rupees for the goggles itself. But no, I'm looking for an alternative from this brand known as Fat Shark. Uh, you'll get these goggles for around like 30 or 40,000 maybe. So yeah, I'm looking to buy that. So once I get these two components, I'll be completely ready to build the drone. And also, uh, if you want, do let me know because I'll be assembling this drone, right? If you want to see the complete assembling procedure also in a video, let me know and I'll make that video as well because all the drone components are already ready. I just need the transmitter and the goggles. So yeah, once I get that, we will be assembling this drone and flying it. It will be super fun and super awesome, guys. This is a very powerful drone for the size we are building. You can do all sorts of stunts, you know, freestyling stunts, uh, go super fast in small lanes. You can fly it indoors as well as outdoors. I can't just wait to build this drone and see how this thing performs. Well, that's it for today, guys. This is what I wanted to tell you all, uh, the current project that I'm working. It might take some time for me to completely finish it and test it. So yeah, you have to stay tuned on the channel for that. 
Well, if you all enjoyed this video and got to learn a lot about drones, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next video.